Well, I more or less decided to start researching um, through being sort of cajoled by my (laughs) sister-in-law. Once once I started, about five years ago, sort of got more or less hooked on it sort of thing. (laughs) And I've I've carried on um, on and off, you know, health permitting, um, and um, acquired quite a few uh, sort of interesting stories that, about the family that no one, no one knew, you know. <laughs> I always liked history at school and um, family history didn't seem to catch on for ages. When the uh, first tram cars were introduced, the great-grandfather, who was at that, that time living at Upper Parkston, he was a steward of the Conservative Club. He was also a tram driver. It, there, after the first year, they had a, a workers' dinner, and uh, he did the provided the refreshments. <laughs> because he was actually, uh, being a, a butler and that, he, he was a cook as well, sort of thing, you know, so he used to have his hand in everything. <laughs> <laughs> the, the Royal Visitor, Paul's Royal Visitor, he was a minor European, um, well, f- from Romania, Prince Nicholas, who was in the, the British Navy at the time, and he came down to visit the um, Brown Sea Island because at that time it was owned by um, people who, who used to entertain the um, European royalty. And um, when, he, when he got down to uh, the, the quay, his transport hadn't arrived and no one knew anything about it. So uh, he... Uh, his representative went into the the king's head to um, use the phone, and in the meantime, the prince went in the pub, <laughs> and um, the, the great grandfather prepared um, a luncheon for him. <laughs> it's a sort of an eye opener, you know, sort of. <laughs> It, make, it makes you feel that, um, although we moan a lot, <laughs> got nothing to moan about really. <laughs> when, you, when, you look, when you look back, if you, if you know what's happened in the past, you, know, you understand really more about you know, the, the, the present day sort of thing. You know. People with local connections, like um, you know the old spy, John Le Carre? He lived down, down here, see? And so I started sort of just looking for the, through the newspapers and all that, you know, for, for pieces about him. I've got a, a small size folder with all bits about him. More than likely being used by a chap doing John Le Carre's autobiography sort of thing, you know. So it all, it all helps sort of thing, <laughs> just to keep um, the interest up. You're not sort of doing it for, for for nothing, sort of thing. You know, it's just just through um, useful to someone else. <laughs>